going to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood this morning. Joining us, as always, is Dax Holt. Good morning to you. Let's first begin with Lindsay Lohan. All right, so she's officially out of rehab. You guys apparently caught up with her and asked her about moving next door to her ex-girlfriend. I just can't even believe this turn of events here, Dax. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. Think of all the spots in L.A. that she could live in. She I know. She happens to be living right next door to Sam Ronson. And you know what? Here's the thing. Both sides are claiming that they had no idea this was happening. Uh, Sam was visibly really upset about it. And uh, she, when she was pulling out of her garage and all the moving trucks were blocking her, she said, look, this was not planned, and I am so mad that I can't even talk right now. And then we get Lindsay coming out of the gym yesterday, and uh, she doesn't really talk about it, but we find out later that she's claiming she had no idea that she knew Sam lived in Venice, but that she did not know she was moving in next door, and that she is more than willing to move out of the neighborhood uh, just so she doesn't ruffle any feathers with Sam. She's like, look, I'll break the lease. I'd obviously don't want to spend the extra money breaking the lease, but if that's what she wants, I will do it. So I think that's kind of a good, uh, you know, a good way to look at it for Lindsay, that she's, she doesn't want to make anyone mad right now. I wonder who her real estate agent was and why she didn't know who her famous neighbor was, you know? <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's switch gears now to Dr. Conrad Murray in a more serious note. So he was in court yesterday, and I guess uh, the judge began hearing testimony to decide if there is enough evidence to try him with involuntary manslaughter and the death of uh, Michael Jackson. What else happened in the courtroom? Yeah, I mean, they're calling people to the stand left and right, but uh, three of the more, more important people yesterday was Kenny Ortega, who's the big producer-director for This Is It movie. Yeah. Uh, obviously, someone that was hanging out with Michael Jackson for months before he passed away and knew what he was like on a daily basis. And Kenny said, look, he, you know, he, he, he was good, he was fine. Uh, and then he had a sluggish point, and we had like a, a meeting with him and said, Michael, you got to step it up. we got a tour here in a couple weeks. And so he stepped it up and was doing really well and then died and so he's kind of blaming a lot of this on Conrad Murray saying mm. that he was the reason Michael Jackson wasn't as sick as everyone thought is what he was trying to say you've got an, uh, Michael Jackson's assistant uh, that came forward yesterday and uh, he was actually one of the first people that that Conrad Murray called when Michael yeah. passed away before 911 so if you want to read all of them we've got all the little details on the site and it's pretty interesting I bet it is saying. all right well I'm sure we'll hear more from the courtroom uh, in the coming days thank you so much Dax and you can catch TMZ right here Fox Providence at 7 p.m. or head to our website for more information on any of the stories.